AI is going to revolutionize game development forever, or so they claim, but is it actually true? Can AI really help you overcome the challenges of indie game development, write C-sharp code for you, and help finally make your indie game dream a reality? Spoiler alert, not exactly. And to find out how exactly, I decided to push AI to its absolute limits to help me with my real commercial indie game project, to see if all the hype is true, or if all AI could do is make something that wouldn't even hold up in a game jam. So if you're an aspiring indie developer, the biggest question on your mind is probably how much of the programming can ChatGPT handle for you? But most of the videos out there making games with AI specifically designed the game to be easy for the AI to make. I'm going to see if I can use ChatGPT to build a very basic video game. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with 10 simple game ideas that we can make in Unity. So I told it to give me a simple game idea that I can make with Unity. But we're not going to presume our conclusions with this one. So to put ChatGPT to work, I took stock of what my next big milestone would be for my horror game about the Pope fighting off a demonic invasion in the Vatican. One, I had to make the Steam page, and two, I had to get the demo done. And to do that, I'm going to have to get the enemies that we started working on in the last video working. So yeah, I'm literally going to have an AI create a bunch of little AIs. It's like poetry. So let's say I'm a brand new game developer. How would I go about this? So make me Unity C Sharp script for an enemy. Okay, so we have our first problem. Find game object with tag player. This is going to work right outside of the box. It shouldn't be assigning player like this. We should assign player in the inspector. Okay, he's really following me. <laughs> he's definitely moving through walls. So we can't have that. Apologies for misunderstanding your requirements earlier. Well, I couldn't have possibly made myself more clear. The more I tried working with ChatGPT to create code for me, as an experienced programmer, the more I kept thinking back to this. I could just do this myself without the hassle. But the problems really start to arise when complete beginners try to use AI. See, I was constantly running into errors with ChatGPT's code, and this is pretty common. But if I tried to do what people usually do and tell it, hey, this isn't working, can you fix it? It wouldn't be able to in this case, and probably not why you think. In one case, the game seemed to freeze completely when the enemy approached me. The thing is, this isn't what was actually happening. But that's how a new game developer would interpret this problem. So if I told the AI to fix the freezing, it would just give me meaningless solutions and fake advice that wouldn't actually do anything because that wasn't the real problem. So if you don't know what you're doing, AI will never be able to guess and rightly interpret the error based on your misunderstanding of the error. It'll only give you answers based on what you tell it is wrong. So if you don't know how to get into the code, fix it yourself, and also ask it the right kinds of questions, this will just get more and more frustrating as time goes on. Keep this in mind because there's still more to be said about AI-assisted programming, but for now, let's move on to level design. So let's say I have no clue how to create a level for my game. This will obviously be a little bit more complicated. Chat won't be able to just spit out some partial level design that I can then work with, but maybe it can at least guide me through the steps I need to make one. Here's a general process that a level designer might follow to design and construct a level in Unity using Pro Builder. This is really the crux of it, isn't it? Um, like you're not gonna actually tell me how to use it, but I guess like at a high level there's nothing wrong with this process. But I feel like if someone wants to learn how to do level design, they already know that they're gonna need to make the level, edit the level, add textures. So the information it's giving me is true, but it's extremely vague. If I want to make a level for a game, I know it'll have to be designed, planned, textured, and lit. But I might not know how to do that. You would get much more practical information by watching specialized YouTube videos or analyses of AAA games or even indie games or even GDC talks. Even when it comes to the technical side of using Pro Builder, ChatGPT was limited by outdated information. But this will obviously be less of an issue as time goes on, and AI will even be able to generate 3D models eventually. And that's not all. One of the devs of Ultima Online is in the process of creating an AI-based level generator. So yeah, we're getting there. Jumping back to enemies, one thing that positively surprised me about ChatGPT was that after enough back and forth, it actually gave me good advice about how to implement attacking. And that was through an animation event. See, animation events would allow the enemy to deal damage at the precise moment that the weapon, or in this case the claws, hit the player, instead of messing with timers or collision boxes or trying to get the enemy to damage the player immediately, which was what ChatGPT's code was originally doing. So I have to give the AI props in this case, because asking it questions like this can be a lot easier for people than trying to Google the answer, especially if you don't even know what you're looking for. So this sort of teaching process could definitely be beneficial, assuming it doesn't try to actively deceive you. Which made me wonder if AI could help me out with animation. I prompted ChatGPT, and honestly, this is just like the level design question. It's giving me the basic overall idea of what steps go into animating a character, but I need more. You could use Mixamo and download animation packs, but these feel very samey. I want my animations to be stylized, punchy, and unique, and I don't think an AI could ever develop my personal style for me. But at the same time, 3D animation is super daunting. But even though AI can't help you with this, I did come across something that could change your perspective on animation, and that's 2Animate. To be fully honest guys, 2Animate is
made reached out to me to be an affiliate, and I said we're only doing this if you let me try out the course myself. And they were actually very happy to agree. So I can honestly say that it is truly a fantastic course. It's super detailed, and I've learned a lot already. And if you decide to take this course, it'll really demystify animation for you, as well as Blender itself as a whole. So I highly recommend you pick up the course, especially if you want your game to stand out amidst all of the AI-generated games of the future. And you can support the channel as well by using the affiliate link in the description. And if animation isn't your thing, but you still want to support the channel, my Patreon is great for that. If you support there, you'll get access to exclusive articles, exercises, and even exclusive videos all about taking your game dev journey to the next level. And you can check that out in the description as well. Now, there was one more thing that I wanted to get the AI to help me with, and as a natural language model, this should be something that's pretty easy for it, and that was writing marketing material. But even that didn't go quite as expected. So for example, write me a short description for my Steam page about, uh, for my game, about a pope uh, purging the Vatican of invading demons. Maybe I gave it a little bit too much uh, descriptive words there. Step into the shoes of a brave pope tasked with purging the Vatican of demonic invaders. Uh, this is really not something you want to say in your, uh, in your short description on Steam. You have a limited amount of words. There's no point in telling people what the visuals look like. They can see that. Now with my next point, I need to stress, why haven't they subscribed yet? What more must I do? With that out of the way, Chris Sokowski, the indie game marketing expert, had a great article on the potential role of AI in marketing, and he's actually quite critical. He found that one of the things that AI is really bad at is one of the things that indie developers already overlook entirely, and that's marketing analysis and marketing strategy. However, he noticed it is very good at writing, specifically pitch emails, and yeah, I can see how as this tech gets more and more refined and more specialized, it could take a lot of the work off your hands, but again, there's a lot to learn about marketing that ChatGPT just can't do for you. Like writing a good short description for your Steam page. Clearly, there are some good uses for ChatGPT, and it'll only keep evolving and improving. So I don't blame you if you think that this whole thing is clickbait, but it's not. I think I have some really good reasons to be cautious of ChatGPT, and why you should be too. Here's why. First of all, when new tools become available, it's like when cars first became affordable. Suddenly, everybody could get around much more quickly, but at the same time, city infrastructure had to be redesigned, and all of a sudden, you have new problems like traffic and parking spaces. So for AI, sure, it'll be easier to make games, but soon there'll be a surge of crappy games emerging, just like what happened after Steam Greenlight stopped, so you'll need to get extra creative to stand out. Secondly, solo developers using something to write code for them isn't new at all. It's existed for years, except they didn't use AI. Instead, most indie developers have always used the app asset store, which in a lot of ways is going to be more convenient than AI. You don't have to constantly argue with a dumb computer back and forth that usually just works out of the box, and if it doesn't, well, it's going to require the same amount of work as trying to work with ChatGPT. The only factor here is that ChatGPT is free, well, unless you're paying for it, and most good assets cost money, so it's going to come down to judging the cost versus the time spent dealing with the AI, depending on the feature that you're trying to implement. The third problem is the one that I'm most worried about for beginners, which I already alluded to a bit, and that is using AI is not going to actually help you learn game development. And you might be thinking, well, I won't need to because sooner or later ChatGPT will just be able to do the coding for me. But this comes down to a problem that I keep seeing over and over again, which was the main point of this video, by the way, for those of you who thought that was clickbait. Programming is not game development, and game development isn't just programming. A solo game developer is not a programmer. He's a game designer, a CEO, a project planner, a manager, an artist, a businessman, a sound designer, and so much more. And out of all of that, programming is probably the easiest skill to master because of all the resources available out there. ChatGPT won't teach you how to make your game good, how to make people like your game, how people are going to react to your game, how to tweak it, what do players look for, what details do you need to improve on. And most importantly, what do you personally like about making games? All of that can only be learned by making games yourself. So what's the solution if not ChatGPT? Well, obviously you should use AI where it makes sense and where it'll help you while recognizing its limitations. But first and foremost, you need to practice and get good at standing out, which is absolutely something that you can learn. No innate talent required. And the best place to start would be to check out this video right here, because believe me, once the competition goes crazy, you will want to get efficient and creative and harness the power of all the things that AI will not be able to do for you. Thanks for watching and God bless.